Good day for everybody involved in the Marucci Bat Company as it was announced on Monday that Marucci has agreed to uh, an exit for $200 million. Amazing. It's uh, a Connecticut-based company called Compass Diversified Holdings, and the CEO of Marucci is Kurt Ainsworth. is good enough to join us here for a couple of minutes. Kurt, congrats, man. Thanks for the time. I'd, I'd ask how you are, but I, I assume it's a good day around your parts. It is a good day. Thank you, man. It, uh, Matt, it's, been, it's been great around here. It's uh, a lot of excitement, but you know, it's definitely not an exit here. We're we're still going. I just want to make that very clear. It's, it's well, <laughs> not, not not a big change here. Well, well said and well stated. Um, let's start though with kind of the the who, what, where, and why, how, and and how long has this this process been in the works of maybe potentially identifying a buyer? Yeah, it's been it's been going on since uh, mid last year. Uh, you know, a lot of things have been going well for us, and uh, we have been approached uh, by a bunch of different groups and. You know, we were pretty fortunate to get down the end and have a, a lot of, of interest in the brand. And so we, uh, it's not very often that you get to the end of a process like this and the, you know, the, the highest bidder, if you will, is the one that we wanted to win. So we had a really good relationship with this group. Um, it was a perfect scenario for us and for our team as, you know, they have a history of protecting premium brands and high-end brands. And uh, so that was, then they, they have a longer term approach than, than a lot of private equity groups. So that was something that really was appealing to, to myself and our management team. And, and that was the, the big reason for the uh, decision. Does, uh, I would ask why ultimately Compass won the, the bid. I mean, obviously, if it's the highest bidder, as you said, but what is it? Could you go into maybe a few more specifics about vision or how the two companies kind of fall in line? Yeah, you know they they have a you know a history of working with high end brands like Five Eleven is one of their brands now yeah. tactical. Um, they have uh, Ergo Baby. They took Fox Racing public, um, and it's just that the team was so professional. Uh, the questions they asked and the detail and just the fact that you know they really believed in what we're doing here. You know they walked through our offices and they met our team. They felt the the passion that our employees had. They they saw the authenticity that we bring to the sport. You know baseball and the sports of baseball and softball. Um, they just love the, the the vision that we have moving forward and the, the growth opportunities that are still out there and new product categories, international growth. Uh, there's just a lot of runway for us. And, you know, they think that with, you know, their expertise and them coming in uh, that we can grow even faster and have access to more capital and do things in the future that uh, speeds up that growth. You've been in your role as CEO since 2014. You, you'll you remain in that role? That's correct. As And is it uh... – I don't know if I'm asking something that's too personal, but is there a, a is there a plan for you to move out of that role at some point, or is that just indefinite? You'll continue in this role. <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay. It's a plan. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, that's that's a good thing. I mean, let's let's just you know, be clear. But also, uh, is the plan also to continue to operate out of Baton Rouge? Yeah, no, it is. All that being said, I'm you know joking about that. Uh, my plan is to, to stay as a CEO. Our team staying in place. Uh, you know, their compass isn't moving any of their employees down here. Uh, they love Baton Rouge. They 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 have bought into this, and we're actually looking to you know extend our leases here on the street. And you're probably going to take some more buildings here on our street and paint them black, so we can have so we can have this entire street at some point. But you know this is uh, this is something that's here to stay, and we think that this is the partner that's going to make this you know the Marucci and Victus brands both household names and and baseball and softball for you know the, the rest of the <laughs> the rest of our our lives hopefully. Kurt Ainsworth is our guest. Awesome day for the entire Marucci family. Um, you mentioned Compass allowing, giving you a lot of runway. So, I mean, started with wood bats. You now are the most prominent bat in Major League Baseball. It was metal bats and gloves and apparel. What what else, what other categories are out there for Marucci? What other hills are there to climb? Yeah, I would say, you know, with Victus brand, we have a lot of room to grow there as well, right? We That Victus brand is, is hot right now. It's the number two bat in the Major League. Uh, wow. We just launched. We just launched our first BB core bat there, and you even see some players at LSU using the Victus bat. You know, we've opened up all of our college teams to Marucci and Victus, uh, doing really well. We're about to launch a youth version for Victus as well. Um, international growth, other than this coronavirus that we need to get out of the way, mm. uh, there's a lot of room to grow in, in the Japanese market, especially in Korean market. Um, fielding gloves. We bought a technology company called Carpenter Trades in 2017. 2018 and uh, we're looking for a lot of big things in the fielding glove market so there's a lot of other categories not just our core growing but it's you know even from apparel and uniforms uh, you know we're seeing the growth in a lot of different categories 
heard you mentioned Victus being the number two bat in the major leagues. Like to me, I I, I find disruption like uh, fascinating. And for a hundred years, right. Louisville Slugger was was it. And in a what is a relatively a smidgen amount of time, <laughs> Marucci and now Victus have overtaken a hundred year old brand. Like, how in the hell did you do that? I mean, w- for a lack of, of couth and asking it in a more appropriate way, like that's 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 uncommon at, at at its most bare minimum. Yeah, no, we look. We've been really blessed. We have a great team here. Uh, the people really care about what they're doing. I think having people that understand baseball and people that play the game that really care about the product. You know, we just saw an opportunity and we took it. And Victus uh, was a younger brand. Actually, they grew up using Marucci products and wanted to take the Marucci products and, uh, you know, try their way to be disruptive. And the truth of it is once we bought them, they've actually made our bats better. We've made them better. And so the two of us are actually gaining more market share this year, uh, just both being the disruptors and making sure we're putting out the best products for the players. And, you know, that's just, it was just different. I think, you know, our competitors got a little complacent, to be honest with you, Matt. And, you know, we took advantage of it. No kidding. Like, did it, did anybody at Louisville Slugger ever come try to hire you away? Because <laughs> if I was the CEO of Louisville Slugger, that would have been my first move. I'd be like, <laughs> get him out of there. Or wh- whoever's doing, the, like, stirring the special sauce, get him out of there. <laughs> you know what? We've built a cool culture around here. Nobody. And, and that's the cool part about it is we're a family. And then we treat this as a clubhouse. And all these guys are, are family to me. Here and you know we've we've kept everyone together. It really is amazing. We don't see a whole lot of turnover on our team here, and that's just a testament to the, the team that we have. And we we enjoy hanging out with each other, and we like to win. And we're winning right now, and we want to continue to win every single day. We want to find a way to win at whatever we're doing, and we love that competitive spirit. So, honestly, I think our competitors didn't even realize who we were. It took them several years and telling people we weren't competitors to them before they realized, oh, my God, these guys just overtook us as number one bat. Now let's see what we can do, and it was too late. I mean, Kurt, that's the story of disruption. I mean, the, the people being disrupted never know what's happening until it's too late. Look, right. at, look at Toys R Us. They ignored Amazon, and then now you're out of business. I mean, that's, that's, that's how, it, like, like I'm telling you, like you don't know that. But all right, <laughs> I, last thing. I know that this isn't like the end of the road for Marucci, and you, but it is a very important benchmark. But if you would, give, give me some perspective on – you, Joe, Jack, together in the at the inception to today. Like, give me some perspective, if you would, on that journey and how this has all happened. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 been an interesting journey. I can say, you know, the three of us are still friends. It, it's it's happened, uh, you know, over fifteen plus years. Two thousand four, we started a company together in a backyard. Uh, you know, Jack is still the head trainer at LSU, as everybody knows, and they had a pretty decent season of football last year. And, yeah. you know, he does a lot of cutting edge things there. He's a he's a really good trainer, obviously, spends a lot of time there. Football coaches and trainers don't get a whole lot of time outside of there. So, he, it, you know, Jack doesn't spend a whole lot of time here, hadn't spent a whole lot of time here in a, in, in a lot of years. Uh, you know, Joe's moved on to other things, doing other things, but we still stay in touch. And, you know, we're still going to be friends all the way through this. And, you know, Joe and I also started – you know, Marucci Sports together with, with Reed Dickens when we founded that in, in 2009. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really cool thing that we can remain friends. We've done a lot of really cool things together. And, uh, you know, who knows what happens in, in the future. But from a day-to-day role, you know, the guys aren't as you know, involved day-to-day um, as they used to be. Kurt Ainsworth, uh, CEO of Marucci, who's staying in that role. And uh, what a week for them as they have uh, agreed to a deal with uh, Connecticut-based Compass Diversified Holdings and should mean even bigger and better things. As Kurt put it, more runway for Marucci, which is really cool. Congrats, man. We'll be in touch, all right? Yeah, thanks for the support, Matt. Uh, always. We appreciate the time. That is uh, Kurt Ainsworth, former LSU All-American, of course, first-round pick, a gold Olympic gold medalist, just a, and clearly a, a CEO of a company which – Sold for nearly a quarter billion dollars. <laughs> I mean, that is, but it, like, in an in an era of of disruption in business, like we've never seen before, literally because of because of what the internet has done and, and what e commerce has done to traditional brands. It's it's fascinating to me to see it happen in something that is not an internet based company. It's one thing if Amazon overtakes. Barnes and Noble or Blockbuster goes out of business or Toys R Us goes out of business. Those traditional brands that were sleeping 
at, that were asleep at the wheel and just and got caught. It's another one you're talking about bats. Like this is a this is a physical product that it's not econ it's not like it's a convenience to get it online. I mean, these are professional baseball players that for a hundred years plus everyone used Louisville Slugger. It's just what you used. And then here comes Marucci out of Baton Rouge and in less than a decade they've overtaken Louisville Slugger. And then the brand Marucci acquired Victus is a number two bat. Louisville Slugger's number three. It I don't I, that's it's and it's all happening right here in Baton Rouge. It is a fascinating story. It just it is. It's a that that sort of stuff just it it does it rarely happens, especially like that, especially in that time frame. So uh, anyway, congrats to all the Marucci guys. Uh, many of them have been on the show and you know been contacts with us for for so many years, and we we appreciate them greatly.